With just one click in Descript Studio Sound, the program will analyze your audio file and it will make it sound more professional as if it was recorded in a studio, even if it was recorded in an echoey room with a cheap or built-in microphone. Recently, I recorded a podcast and my mic was a bit too hot. I could hear all my breaths, uh, there was a lot of background noise, and I was a bit worried about the audio quality for the podcast. But then what I did is I dragged the audio and video file into Descript and I applied studio sound and it sounded a lot better. So let's take a look at what it sounded like beforehand and then after I applied studio sound. So here it is without studio sound. All right, and we are live on the first ever Peer Through Podcast. I am Mark, the host. We're always looking for what comes next in tech and crypto. And I am joined by Simon. Simon, do you want to introduce yourself quickly? As you can tell, you can just hear me breathe in like that. Um, it's just a little bit noisier. And then here it is with studio sound. All right, and we are live on the first ever Peer Through Podcast. I am Mark, the host. We're always looking for what comes next in tech and crypto. And I am joined by Simon. Simon, do you want to introduce yourself quickly? So you can see that breath was completely taken out. I didn't do any manual adjustments. I simply pressed studio sound and it did all of that. My voice is cleaner, his voice is cleaner, uh, and it just really kind of enhanced the quality of the audio. You can see that when you're watching the video and it's even better when you're doing something that's audio first, like a podcast, because then people, you know, they're just listening in their car or in their headphones and it just makes a huge difference and it's so simple. Here's how you actually apply studio sound. How to apply studio sound is you just take your audio clip or your audio and video clip, you drag it into Descript, then you go over to the right where it says audio effects, you click on the little plus button, you'll see audio repair, select that, and then Descript will have to analyze the audio file for, I don't know, about a minute or so, depending on how long it is, and then it will apply studio sound throughout the clip. Now, why Descript Studio Sound is different than other audio processors is it actually uses AI to analyze and then regenerate the audio. So it kind of takes your voice and regenerates it, and then it takes all the background noise and regenerates it. That way it can apply different audio effects to the voice and to the background. So it can make your audio clearer and it can remove frequencies in the background noise. And that's different than other audio processors because a lot of times when you wanna remove noise, what happens is you're removing background noise, but then you're also removing quality to your voice. But by separating those and using that regenerative AI, this kind of puts Descript's studio sound in a whole nother category. A few other things about studio sound. I think it works great for audio first content. Uh, if you're going for podcasts, perfect. Just crank it up to 100%. That said, you can take studio sound and you can kind of adjust the mix to be 100% in terms of its intensity, and you can bring it all the way down to 0%. When I'm recording something like a YouTube video, if you bring it up to 100%, it kind of starts to look unnatural. Um, and that's because I think just the human eye can see that you're in a room and it sounds like it's in a studio and you just start to feel this disconnect. So if you record a YouTube video, you can either not use it or what you can do is you can use it, but you just don't take the intensity as high. So you'd put it maybe at like 30% or 50% or 20% or 60%. Another weird thing I found is actually if you use headphones, it makes it seem more natural if you want to bump up the intensity of Descript's audio studio sound. So for instance, if you have headphones on and particularly if you can see the microphone in the shot, I'm not going to move my microphone. Sometimes that just helps the viewer's eye and it makes the studio sound more believable because they're expecting sound quality like that because you are in this studio setting. In general, I've found, you know, no headphones seems a little weird with studio sound on. Uh, there's some sort of disconnect, but that's not to say studio sound isn't doing its job. It's doing a fantastic job cleaning up the audio. You just kind of have to decide if you're combining studio sound with visual, how intense you want the studio sound effect to be. Is Descript Studio Sound free? Yes, Descript Studio Sound is free to use. Even in the Descript free plan, you can do files that are up to a length of 10 minutes. In the creator plan, which is $12 a month, you can do files that are up to 60 minutes in length. And in the pro plan, which is $24 a month, you can do uh, files that have an unlimited length. On top of that, if you just wanna try out Studio Sound on one of your audio files, I'll put a link to a landing page that you can click to, drag your audio in. You can actually go up to five minutes and just see what your exact audio file will 
will sound like using studio sound. So there's a link to that in the description. Does Descript remove background noise? Yes, Descript removes background noise. You can do that automatically with studio sound, or you can also do it manually. So there's studio sound, which you can adjust the intensity of within studio sound, or if you're a audiophile and you want to do everything manually, Descript, the program also has a range of audio plugins like EQs and compressors and noise gates. Then also when it comes to sound in Descript, there are other things like Descript overdub, which if you forget a word, you can have it type in. I've covered that in other videos. Descript has a stock library of music, royalty-free music, and Descript has sound effects. So there's plenty of audio things you can do with Descript. You can also remove filler words like ums and likes automatically. This is particularly good in an audio first piece of content. In a video, it kind of, you know, cuts every single time you say um, does these jump cuts. So it doesn't work quite as well because you have the visual element attached to it. It works, but yeah, it's just strange for your viewer. So all of that I cover in other videos. I also have a full Descript review and tutorial, which you can watch on this channel, but this was to cover Descript Studio Sound. I appreciate you watching. If you could give this video a like, I would appreciate it and uh, check out Descript below in the description. Thank you so much. Bye.